Hi guys, welcome to another episode. In the previous episode, we showed the do's and don'ts with dry firing of a spear gun. Guys were quite curious about safety tips and uh, I think it's about time we did a few videos on what not to do. One of them is a reel and line management. Initially, we brought these out to control small reef fish, but these days more and more are used to hunt game fish. And there's more and more line in the water, especially if you're using a belt reel together with it. There's so much line around it becomes very dangerous. I have seen guys who, in the excitement of the hunt, haul their line up as fast as they can and just throw it willy-nilly all around themselves. And not a problem under normal circumstances, but if there's an incident where a shark rushes in, takes the fish and spear, rushes away with it, you're going to go with that shark. And if you're out of breath and you don't have a knife, this becomes very dangerous. So it's super important not to just haul the line willy-nilly all over the place. Be aware where that line is all the time. Constantly consider feeding it out to one side, even if you need to swim away from it. We've done some demos here on the pool. As you can see, hauling the line up and throwing it everywhere, you're going to get entangled in it. Not a problem under normal circumstances, but if a shark rushes in and takes that fish and doesn't bite the line off, you're gonna be going with it. Super dangerous. Make sure your knives are very sharp. You're gonna to need to cut yourself free. It's very important to keep the line fed out to one side. That line will also feed back into your hand if something runs, so you control it all the time. Be 100% aware of where that line is. It is so easy to become entangled. Guys driving boats also must be aware where that line is in the water. They can see your gun floating behind you. Some guys leave the gun, some guys keep the gun clipped to themselves. There's pros and cons. If you do have the gun clipped to yourself with a short lanyard onto your belt, we like to offer small bungees for that so your gun will stay with you. If there's a shark around, even though there's no shark or spear in your gun, you still have something to help prod it off. Another side clip is the drag on the reel. A lot of guys jump in the water, the excitement of the dive, and they've forgotten to take the drag off. If you shoot a large fish that strips line, you're going to maybe try and hang on to it. It's not easy to adjust your drag while this knob is spinning. So be aware of that. Always set your drag accordingly. Um, on game fish, I like to have mine super loose, and I control the fish by using my hand to control the drag. If you have a bad shot, the fish basically is free spooling. So be very aware of your drag. And uh, if you try and hang on to this gun and you're not able to release it, you might think the surface is close. You might just exert yourself that little bit more than you should have and black out. And now you've got a problem. Be mindful of the fact it's way better to throw away the gun than cost yourself your life. 